Welcome to the Nothing Nothing and Record Hall number 17. We enter the Age of Aquarius and Broadway Theater at the same time. A president enters the collection. A band that likes taking care of business enters for their first album. And we jump for them with three sisters and originally four. This and more coming up next on Record Hall 17. So as usual, we got the old record box out. The old one, the very old one now. Go ahead and look right now. And as just mentioning with the age of Aquarius, we have hair. Can you give me one second? Now, hair, is, this is the original American Broadway production album of hair. And as you can see, there's a Grammy Award sticker. And of course, everybody, if you've heard my what I said, the age of Aquarius, of course, is on here. Aquarius, side one there, as you can see it. So we'll start with the interesting book that's come with this. I don't know if it's original or not, but interest, interest can always come. I don't know if that's so fast that. But but as we flip through the book here real quick, you'll see it's it's basically just a write-up in pictures of the hair at the time. I don't know if it's original to this or not, but. At least you get an interesting look at what hair was like at the time. It was a brand new album. Although I actually think this one's a reissue. German. Of course, um, in the end, I'll say, when we get to it, I'll pause on it. Yeah, here it is. This is the uh, famous uh, audience participation section of... Uh, is, this, is this Let the Sun Shine In? Yeah. You can see there the lyrics about the sunshine in. Actually, in a way, it's kind of like a tour book, lyric book. You see they're even promoting the 8-track. It's hard to see, but if you see down there, there's a stereo 8-track. Okay, so now let's get to the album. I'll just leave it in there because it's black. It's an orange RCA label. That's what the soundtrack was released on. Right there should be Aquarius, of course, the age of Aquarius, where this is com mainly comes from. And then we move into 1969 with the president, as we just mentioned. President Richard Nixon with his commemorative, well, actually it's a commemorative item, but commemorative edition, inaugural address, Richard Nixon, 37th president of the United States. And as you can see, it's one of the couple official inauguration albums that were out there. I don't think I need to explain what an inauguration is, but if you don't know, it's basically where we inaugurate our president, and they have a huge speech and musical performances, and it's quite a big deal. One second. As you can see, it basically just has the presidential seal on, and it says part one or two. I can show you all the way, but you can see it's right there, but yeah. So that was 1969. And then our next one up is a classic, Who's Next?, and from 1971, I think you can probably tell who's next by now. I'm just looking at the Elham's album cover. They were on DECA here. Or originally they were on DECA, then moved to Warner Brothers, as you know from Who Are You, and then my uh, face dances. This is the one, of course, that has Bob O'Reilly and Won't Get Fooled Again and Behind Blue Eyes. And so on. And then in 1973, we have Carly Simon and in No Secrets. And if you recognize the album cover, you'll know what the number one is on this album. It's... Where is that on this side? Here somewhere. There it is. It's You're So Vain. The song with the infamous... Still don't know who it's all written for. And as you can see, there's a printed lyric sheet. I'll be able to there. There we go. It'll be a little difficult to read, but you get the point. And then there's a photo of her. I think this is the photo the Rock Hall uses for the knock when they put her in. 
course, she was on Electra, so we should have the famous Electra Butterfly label. This is prior to 1980. Yep. And then the album that the band that likes taking care of business's first album is, of course, Bachman Turner Overdrive or BTO. I'm dark here in a hurry. I might have to refill this later. Anyway. Here's the inner, inner sleeve. You can see the songs on here. So you can see this was a gatefold. I don't have a sleeve for so I'll just show you. This is Mercury's actually first entry of Mercury Records into my collection. Next to Buckman Turner Overdrive. And then coming up next in 1978 is the Doobie Brothers and Minute by Minute. This is the album that has two of their famous songs, What a Fool Believed and Minute by Minute. As you can see there. And the one side is printed lyrics, just to prove your point. There's Minute by Minute. Oh, credits one. There's Minute by Minute. What a Fool Believes there. And on the other side, we have a natural scene. I'm not sure. And of course, I put it upside down. <laughs> there we go. They were on Warner Brothers. So this looks so much like my uh, Rod Stewart, uh, Stanford Man Band. Uh, not Stanford Man. Oh, excuse me. Stanford and whatever. The one that did Smoke on the Art. Smoke from a Distant Fire. This was 1978. And then we move into 1981. Right, I'm checking out. 81. 1981. With Foreigners 4. Their fourth album in English. And also they were four members of the band at this point. This, this album famously has fa two famous songs. Or three actually. Jukebox Hero, Waiting for a Girl Like You, and Urgent. And this one was the most expensive on here. So, <laughs> as you can see. So you got the lyrics here. It's on each side. It's getting a little dark. It's going to go a little quicker. Might be a little hard to see, but if you look into the lines where in the lyrics there, or label it'll say e a s t e a s t that's the specially pressing place i mentioned that before and then we move into the three sisters the pointer sisters and originally four with breakout and barcodes of course discogs mobile app you can scan those help you find versions there was two of this one and there was my reference, Jump for my love. Well, I said our love, but, you know. But anyway. So here's the label. This is the first of Planet. Oh, boy. Planet Records, which released them. I didn't grab the papers. So yeah. And it looks like we have credits and lyrics here. Yeah, looks like credits and lyrics. So obviously your A and B's respectively. And then lastly, we have from 1985, Mr. Mr. Welcome to the Real World, which has two hits, two number ones in fact, which we'll get to in a minute here. Let's show you the back. There's your band members at that time. Barcode, scan that on Discogs mobile app. The first one is, it should be coming up here right in a second. There's Broken Wings, their first number one. And then their second number one's right next to it. Curie, Curie, depending on how you pronounce that. I've never been able to properly pronounce that. And they have a, they have a printed inner sleeve. Image of the band, really. And then on this side, you have lyrics, or part of lyrics, or credits. I'm not sure entirely here, let's see. There's something I would recognize. Welcome to the real world. 
This almost reminds me of the Rhythmics album, Sweet Dreams Are Made of This. Because cause cause they had all the lyrics from Weird Round. Weird, oh, okay, is that Karen Lee? Yeah, it's, it's the lyrics then. And I'm going to admit this album's going to be a bit of a repeat. You've seen this little before in the past. It's it's the RCA. It's RCA again. They were in RCA. Obviously, you can't really see because it it's in the dark, but you can tell if you've seen my uh, other videos with RCA that involved the uh, uh, hall notes, voices, and so on. And with that, I thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you again sometime. Perhaps even very soon, if I, uh, do, like to, I might even do an attempt to guess what is it, what will be this year's Rock Hall Class nominees. But we'll see.